All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, mm -hmm. and salutation to the Aki and pushing his word in truth and sincerity with charity. Um, um, we're from the um, PMS Chicago camp. Um, my, uh, my name is Daniel. This is uh, the brother of the Wad. Uh, we just want to basically go into um, the this um, this chapter this um, wisdom of Solomon chapter six verse twelve. Um, this is uh, wisdom is wisdom of Solomon chapter six verse twelve. Wisdom is glorious, and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her. Yep, and I got a. I call it the wisdom, you know, cry, cries, man, and uh, I call it, and um, you know, those that those that seek wisdom, you know, and you have the you have the elect, they are automatically gonna, you know, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that, you have the elect, they're gonna hear this word, cause you know, scripture says, uh, my sheep hear my voice, you know, and they're gonna hear this, they're gonna hear this what this wisdom one way or another. And they're gonna cleave on to it. They're gonna uh, do their research, find out they're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, and start coming back to the Lord. You know, and and this is a these are the men that are actually gonna be the um devoted to to seek this wisdom out. That's right. And if I could keep reading to this these this verses right here. She pert pert pertaineth them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. Whoso seeketh, seeketh her early shall have no great travail, <laughs> for he shall shall find her sitting at her his doors. I call, can you read that first part of the book? Sir? Verse twelve. When, well, not the whole thing, just like when you started off again. Um. Verse thirteen. Is she pertaineth them that desire of her. Mm -hmm. And making herself first known unto them, who so seek it for her early shall have no travail, no no great travail. And you have, you have um, what is that word that it uses? Um, travail. She. Oh, uh, we gotta desire this wisdom. Desire. You know, we gotta we gotta be seeking out this wisdom. Um, you know, I believe um, it was either. Um, it was either Apostle Tahar or Apostle Rana. They just made a video on it. That this wisdom is beautiful, man. This is uh, this is uh, this this wisdom is um, you know um, how the word slipped in my mind, but it's like uh, this wisdom is like a beautiful woman, man. The the woman of our life. Yeah. You know the most. This is the um, the wisdom. This is you know this is basically wisdom, man. Wisdom gives you everything you need. You know, just like um, King Solomon, you know, all he all he had to do was to Man. all he had to do to get all those treasures, which he really didn't even knew they were there. Or, yes, he prayed to the Lord for wisdom. Right. He he just oh, I was thinking about it just with the Queen of Sheba, but you got that that um King Solomon he, uh it was in uh his dream, the Lord asked him you know uh like basically like uh what was his desires he just wanted more wisdom you know it through all that he got all these um you know these things these women these uh this gold all all this thing just off asking for wisdom showing you how wisdom is important you know even but even still with wisdom you if you want to get rich you know i call it um uh you either you have those people that um they just want to be rich uh, right off the bat, or you have those people that want that wisdom and want to work their way up. If one way or another, if you have wisdom, you're still going to get rich. You know? You got that one right there? Okay, this is Proverbs 8, and uh, start at 8. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and and right to them that find knowledge. They are plain to they are they are all plain to him that understandeth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because a lot of these people, 
Hey, the elect are gonna get it, mm-hmm. and the rest of these people, and the they, block. it's not gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna be stumbling block. Just like uh, how for some Israelites, they come, they come into, they hear these words, the true, the true, um, they come to the camps and hear these words, where something that has a stumbling block to them is that they can't eat pork. Or that they can't get uh, lineups in their hair, and 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 the corners of their head. That but hey, I'm gonna keep reading on. Uh, yeah, they are playing to them that understand it, and the right to them that find knowledge. Knowledge, receive my instruction, and not and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Hey, a wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Hey, nothing could be compared to wisdom, man. Wisdom is 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 precious, man. It's it's beautiful than these other things. Uh, it's it's more precious than man's than man's uh, desires, man. Mhm. Is the next picture you're gonna get? Uh, you have it already. Mm-hmm. Nine and was it ten and twenty four? I think it was um, ten and twenty four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Luke ten and twenty four. For I tell you, that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hey, uh, for hey, hey, for I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hey, because this wisdom, saw you go go ahead. Because um. You know these um, they have these people that that study, man. They get the all these degrees. You know, I think they know the scriptures, but they don't know nothing. They don't. You know, they, and you have some people that you know, you have some people because you you don't just wake up one day, you know, and say that I don't be an uh, Hebrew Israelite. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be righteous. No, nah, man, the Lord chooses you. Right. Hey. Yeah. You don't wake up, you just don't wake up and say, oh yeah, I'm a teacher now, I'm going to go out there in, in the highways and byways and teach my people. And you get, you you learn that and through the Lord, through Yahweh B'Hashim Shai, man, by studying and being with other brothers and, and ultimately watching the apostles, man. Right, because we, we didn't, um, you know, we didn't choose the Lord, the Lord chose us. For right. for whatever reason, man, whether it's to be saved or be you know get a horrible a horrible punishment, but you know no I can't, you just you know wisdom isn't just given out to anybody you know the, the Lord gives you this wisdom so you have these people that they they that desire to to want to know this but they just can't receive it uh you have that uh Bishop Gigo I'll get it real quick before you get that one. You want to get that X? Yeah. Yeah, that was gonna be the next one. That was gonna be eight. Uh, I'll get it. Um, where is it? This is uh, Acts chapter eight, verse seventeen. Then laid their slug it. Then laid they their hands on them, and they received the the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that through laying on the sorry, and when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. So this guy offered offered them money, man, f- to receive the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Verse nineteen, saying, "Give me also this power that that on whomsoever I lay hands he may receive the Holy Ghost." Uh, but Peter said unto him. Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. So you, th- hey, you, this, this wisdom can be purchased, man. Right. It is, um, it's given to you unto you. It's given to you by Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, mm-hmm. man. This, that's, it's a perfect gift, man. It's a precious gift. 
like the, we just read in Proverbs 8, uh, verse uh, 11, man. It's, it's better, it's, um, it's well, nothing to be compared. Mm -hmm. Yo, um, yeah, what you doing, man? Um, nah, that, was, that was it on that. Hey, because to us, by knowing all this wisdom and these scriptures, hey, it's, we're going to need it because of that day of judgment, man. That day of judgment day is going to come, and these scriptures are, are going to be comfort, man. And you knowing them in your head. Uh, um, I'm just going to get that scripture, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy, time, of thy times and strength of salvation. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Um, you got it. Hey, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Hey, because we're going to need this this wisdom. We're going to need Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Hey, you're going to, you want Yahweh Bashim Yashai to be with you in that day, man. Because you're going to bug out. And knowing these scriptures, man, they're going to bring comfort into you. Faith. Yep. You're not faith, man. All right, God, because the Lord's going to come as a thief in the night, man. Right. These other people, with these scriptures and this wisdom, man, Lord willing, we endure to the end. But we are going to be stable. You know, we're not going to be like these people all bugged out, you know, they're going to have all this fear. They're not, we, we know the things that are coming to America, man, because we read them off the scriptures, you know, it tells us what's coming. The prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. The prophecies, you know, the, uh, the famine, the, the, the actual famine, then you have the famine of the word, you have these race riots, a martial law, uh, cannibalism. The mark of the beast. Uh huh. The um the nuclear bombs. Right. All these people are gonna be caught off guard, man. But we know what's coming. That's why we're gonna be we're gonna be stable, even though hey, we're in the flesh, man. We're gonna be you know we're gonna be afraid. You know, uh, as you said, what was uh what was me who shall see who shall deliver me from those days? Hey, because Jeremiah thirty and seven talks about this is a day that never been seen before. So a day with just death all over the place, man. These people are going to be bugged out of their minds. But us and the men of the Lord and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai being with us, we're, we're going to be stable. You know, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil because thou art with me. Amen. Hey, man. Hey, so hey, wisdom is precious, man. It can't be bought. So if you, if you receive this wisdom, hey, hold on to it. Hey, cause it's gonna it's gonna be a real benefit. Not only that, but the Lord is, is has opened your eyes. The Lord has chosen you and opened your eyes to receive this this wisdom. And the scriptures talk about it, man. You know, um uh what is it talking about with the not hiding not hiding your gift under uh, the bush? Yeah. Hey, we gotta we got whatever the Lord gave us, hey we gotta let it shine. Yeah. And whatever the Lord has given us, it's still a weapon, man. Whatever portion he may have given us is still a weapon. You know, it's just like the Lord, you know, the each brother has their own different portion in his truth. You know, you have the, well, I just thought about it right now. Uh, it's just like the Lord giving, uh, you know, a brother uh, an, uh, a two-handed sword. You know, one that you deal with, uh, with both your hands or one hand, a one-handed sword or a dagger. Either way, it's still a weapon. Uh, and, and, probably, and we gotta, you know, the scripture's talking about Galatians 6, if I believe, where it talks about put on the whole armor of God, you know, and then it talks about that, uh, that we might be able to, to, um, to withstand the, the fire, the fire, uh, of the wicked, mm -hmm. you know, with these scriptures, man, when, uh, having this wisdom is what, uh, hey. I got when these demons hop on us, man, hey, that's how we're able to cut them, right, with the scriptures, because that wisdom that we, that we retain. But, um, though I, though I think it's the Psalms, uh, medit though I meditate day and night, hey, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. That's Psalms 1 and 2. 1 and 2, mm -hmm. I just forget it. Because I, I butchered it. 1 and 12, right? Mm -hmm. 1 and so 2. There's Psalms 1 and 2, but... But his delight is in the law of the Lord, 
and his and his law do I med do do he meditate day and night. Hey, cause ultimately we're supposed to be meditating on the scriptures, man, day and night. Cause this brings us comfort, man. When we're going through them hard times, when we're going through hard situations, man, and you go, you go, you, sh you should go pick pick up your scriptures and just read, man. I'll bring comfort comfort to you, man. Hey, to me, faith, man. We gotta have faith. That's the number one key in this truth, man. Faith. Because that faith is a part of is a part of pleasing, pleasing him. You got anything else? Uh, no, that was basically it. Hey, but we gotta do our part in this truth, man. The Lord gave us, you know, the Lord gave us, um, has opened our eyes to, under, to understand these scriptures. And man, we gotta do our part. You know, James 1 and 21, which talks about uh, be a doer of the word and not hear a hearer only. Hey, so we got this wisdom, man. Hey, we gotta put we gotta put it to work. Uh, that's right. Kind of the, you know, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. But with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, double honors, the apostles and elders of the millstone, and salutations to the Yaki and pushing his word in truth and sincerity and charity. With that, shalom. shalom.